A lot of, a lot of doctors in general, it's called a medical arts for a reason. A lot of people have secondary interests in, in, in sort of the finer arts. So many people are, are artists or photographers. And, and so they meld that with their clinical side, meaning that maybe they like to take their own photographs or maybe they display their photographs in their office. Now that stuff is, you know, that's very basic and that's not really what you're getting at. But what you can do in this field is utilize your knowledge and work with industry to perhaps create a device that can then go into helping people. Or maybe you've got a different design on an instrument that you use inside the eye that helps you be a more proficient or faster surgeon or do things in a safer way. Um, all of those things are, are possibilities, but it's really endless, right? I mean, you know, nobody's ever going to brew beer and show up and, you know, put that in your office, right? I mean, that's that, you know, but, you know, can you utilize, you know, your, your clinical space to perhaps do something different than what other people are doing? Well, that's what moves the profession along. The smart people are those that figure out ways to do things differently and more efficiently. Like, so as you, as you alluded to, I'm opening my own practice. And one of the things that I'm doing is I'm learning from the things that I learned in military practice and large group practice and small group practice are changing what I'm putting into this office and the way I'm doing things so I can see patients, see less patients, but uh, do it in a way in this era of COVID that gives people confidence that they can come in, into my office and see me face to face. Ophthalmology is just not one that's great or translates very well in telemedicine. I can talk to you on the phone about an eye problem and I can get an idea of what's going on and I might be right 60 or 70% of the time. But what if I'm wrong that 30 or 40% of the time? Does that open you up to liability because you never really could see what's going on in their eye under high magnification or under microscopic surveillance? There are things that are never going to move us out of an office setting. We're never going to be able to sit at home and look at each other and hold your camera up, your camera phone up to your eye and say, see there, look at this redness. It's just, you're never going to get an idea of really what, it's always going to be office based. But technology is advancing in a way for us to do some things before that maybe we weren't able to do even as little as five years ago. And so you don't close off the door to these kinds of things. Things are evolving. COVID is going to change how we practice medicine, in my opinion. I think we're going to get away from large practices and we're going to get away from large office settings where everybody gathers into one building and you see 100 people you know, sitting in the waiting room. It just can't happen anymore, quite frankly, at least right now. And I, nobody really knows how long COVID is going to be around, but I'm going to, I'm going to predict it's going to, we're going to be living with this for at least three years, vaccine or not. So uh, I think, I think this is going to change things and it's probably going to structurally change things for the better over the long term. Well, we'll see.